lying on the couch, bleating incoherently most, most of the time. Oh, Zorba, sometimes I feel my emotions uh, rising. I don't know how to respond. Should I act on them? I analyze. Maybe I overanalyze. And I'm wondering whether other people want me to... Ah, I... And he was projecting on me, a 12-year-old boy. Don't distract me now, please. This is the good part. Please. I am listening, though. But I am listening. Every word. Every word. I asked his wife, please bring me paper. Paper and uh, notepad. She brought me notepad. I would sit like this. Just so for him to see. So he could see peripherally out of his eye. Yeah. So by his. And I was just like this. Just like this. Watching. And then he be quiet a little bit. It reassured him that someone was listening. Actually, I had fixed him in the first five minutes while I was surfing the channels. Channel surfing while listening. Five minutes, five minutes finished. I knew exactly. From then on, I stayed because I had nothing better to do. I had a curfew, 8 p.m. It was early, still 6.30. I had snacks. My parents never bring me snacks like this. Petty furs. Graham crackers, maybe. Not petty furs. Not for me. Not in that household. 16 brothers and sisters. No petty furs. Biscuits. Crackers, okay. Sixteen brothers and sisters. Don't expect. Here, a little advice from the Zorba and Guru. If you have sixteen brothers and sisters or more, don't expect petty fur to be served in the foyer of your house. Anyway, so I stayed. Nothing better to do. Five minutes fixed. Oh, go. Continue. It was entertainment for me. Simple, simple, simple. So on the way out, I tell his psychiatrist, uh, in private, in confidence, I sit on the table and his wife, I tell her, no, I do not want you to listen. She was astounded, astonished, maybe even abashed. A 12 year old boy telling me I cannot listen to the recommended course of treatment for my own husband suffering on the couch babbling while I'm bringing you stuff I, I fed you, I, I watered you I gave you drinks and now you tell me no you abused my remote control you spilled no, I did not spill did not spill drinks, no crumbs but she was thinking you came to my house but I was there to help. I helped. I am sure after I left, the psychiatrist he told, he shared my recommendation with her. For sure. No doubt. Undoubtedly. I tell him, my recommendation, and please take this seriously. This is no laughing matter. Nothing to laugh about. This has been going on for a while. This is not something new. Am I right? Yes, said his psychiatrist. His friend was a psychotherapist. Recently had become a psychiatrist and was now... Uh, could now prescribe medications. But he had been uh, his friend and they had... Uh, I don't know what they do. Psychoanalyze each other for free. For f as friends, the fringe benefit of being a psychotherapist is your buddies and you can analyze each other for fun. 
and then you can be saner than the rest of the population or maybe crazier my recommendation stop the TV for one month titrate him oh and by the way no masturbation and I said this before I even knew what masturbation was can you imagine can you imagine I did not even have hair on my chest and I was telling him his psychotherapist his psychiatrist tell your psychotherapist not to masturbate for one month if he can Try. Do your best. I don't know. Have someone oversee that. Assign someone to that. I don't know how, but you, you figure it out. I'm here to prescribe. A titrate him on psychotropic uh, X milligrams antidepressant, and I gave the name. Give him uh, uh, vitamin B. Uh, C complex supplement uh, and send him to see an Ayurvedic practitioner give uh, two teaspoons flaxseed in the morning uh, bacoba, one teaspoon bacoba with milk, hot milk and honey and uh, some ghee butter in the evening or yak butter yak butter, hmm, yak uh, yak cheese and why is it called yak? because it tastes really nice and yet it's called yak cheese yak hmm. and I gave him a scripture to read one time a day I will not tell you the scripture because it is proprietary for him in that situation in that condition And in one week, fixed, clear, awakened, realized, the psychotherapist was not the same person. You would not recognize him. He never lay on the couch like this again, no. He was up and about, calm, confident, aware, sharp. Balanced. Balanced. Thanks to? Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Zorba then Guru. Anyway. Better than new. My first paying patient. And, uh, of course, my first patients, when I was younger, they were not paying. They were my parents and my siblings. A few of my siblings, not all, just a few, had some rivalry that I had to sort out. Hmm, that rivalry. Anyway. I, uh, my parents, they hated it. It took me a while. I had to tell them, sit down and listen to me. I am not here to cajole you. I have uh, work to do. It's serious. Just sit down, both of you. Sit down on the stools. I used to, I used to do this after my parents went to bed after my siblings went to bed to have the privacy one on one and so that the they would not my parents would not be upstaged by me acting like their parent reversal radical reversal child becomes parent parent becomes child sit on the stool and listen shut both of you both of you listen quiet Listen. Initially they resisted. I said, I'm not your normal child. You know that. 
You don't know that? You, you know. You better know. You did not bear an average child. I did not come from you. From your loins did not spring the average child. You know I am something extra, something more extra, more than ordinary. So be quiet, listen, stop fidgeting. Stay on your stools until I say so. Let the healing begin. I was not satisfied growing up in a dysfunctional family. I was not going to let that happen, to sit by and watch that. No, no, I fix it from the inside, inside job. Yes, so the Guru works like a little from the inside out. I'll fix it here and now. I told them. It took a while though. Do you get me? You? Yes. Well, at first, it took a little convincing. I had to give them time to deal with their reservations until those reservations gave way to trust. Then the magic begins. <laughs>